Hello everyone, welcome to the sixth video to beginner's guide on how to revit. Let's link a CAD drawing into your model this time. Now, I hope you guys downloaded the file from our previous video. If you haven't, the link is still in this video's description below. So pause now and download it first. It will, it will be fast, it won't take a minute. There won't be any ads or anything there. Now, let's go to ground floor plan. Insert. You will see a link and import CAD here. The difference is, link files retain the references of our external files and will only update if we reload or relink, while as the import, it becomes a part of the Revit and lose any connection to the, to the source. Link also aren't that file heavy compared to imports. Now, link CAD. I hope you place it in a folder you are familiar of. Usually, the default folder is in the downloads. Otherwise, you may have to download it again and place it in desktop, so it will be very easy for you to locate. Now, tick current view only so it won't be shown in other, in other views. Next is this one. This option only just gives us color choices. Next, this. Leave layer levels to all, so you know it will really complicate things. Next is import units. So since we're using metric, you can either choose meter, decimeter, centimeter, millimeter. But let's just do, let's let's just do auto detect. Auto detect since we already fixed our units into metric, maybe four or five videos ago. Next for positioning. Just make it auto. I'll explain more into those options in a future video. For now, let's just click auto. It doesn't matter which one. Because in the end of it, if we press open, it will all be the same result. Oh, I almost forgot. Always take this one. Alright, so let's click the drawing. And open. So, it's either nothing appears for you or you will see a silhouette here like this. So do a zoom extend. This is the link. But let's assume that it didn't appear to you. You, you, you gotta go to the properties palette here. Then go to extends. If this, is, if this has a checkbox for you, untick it. So it might have spawned somewhere very far from you. So anyway, untake this one. If it still doesn't appear, we will do more troubleshooting. Press VV or VG. This is called the Visual Graphic Override menu. Go to Imported Categories. It should show here. If it doesn't, just go back to LinkCAD and relink it again. If it does show here, but it's not showing in the drawing area, just click Cancel. Go back to insert, manage links, CAD format. It should be here. If it's if it's not, again, go back to link CAD. If it's here, just remove it, then press OK, and start from the beginning by going to link CAD and going back to the same item and do the same thing all over again. Now, that should make it work. OK, so now, usually, when you link an element, like this one, it's pinned. There will be this one. Usually, like I said, usually. If it's if it is pinned, what's gonna happen is you won't be able to move it. As you see, there will be a warning sign. You can't delete it, you can't really do anything on it. So, in order to remove these pins, either you click this or this or press UP. Now we can move it. Ah, as you see, I uh, linked twice because of the troubleshooting that we did. So let's remove this one. Okay, so next, how do we pin again? Press this button or the shortcut key. Now it's pinned again and we cannot move anything. Oops, I made a copy. Undo, undo, undo. 
Okay, see? Because it's spin. So, you know, pinning an object or an element is a good practice once you're done with a certain area that you are doing and you don't want to mistakenly edit later, especially the grid like this one. Why? Because a grid seldom changes once the project starts its mobilization. It's very seldom a grid really, really ever changes. So always, always once you're finished with a grid, 100%, make sure to always pin it. Okay, so now let's just drag this CAD somewhere safe or somewhere very easy for us to see. Let's move it here. We're focusing on ground floor plan for now. So okay, that's it for this video. Next video, we will be doing our model based on the link AutoCAD. So for question and suggestion, please do comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. It will really help me a lot. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys.